Anyway, I'm absolutely delighted to be here and a very, very warm welcome uh, to delegates to this World Forum on Enterprise and the Environment. It's wonderful to have you here and I would like to thank St Hilda's uh, for hosting uh, you all today. It's a lovely college, so do take time to wander about and enjoy the beautiful gardens whilst you chat and exchange great ideas. I'm very proud uh, that for centuries the University of Oxford has served to convene and concentrate minds on society's greatest challenges. And this has, of course, produced many unprecedented breakthroughs and solutions in the past. Just witnessed recently our contribution during the pandemic with evidence-based trials and, of course, a vaccine for the world. So this World Forum has convened by the Smith School of Enterprise and Environment in the spirit of that very long-standing tradition, bringing together you, senior representatives, decision makers from government, enterprise and academia, to generate that debate and the big ideas that could lead to real progress towards achieving our net zero and the sustainable development goals, and to investigate how they can be most effectively translated into climate policy, financed, implemented and rendered politically acceptable. This is something very close to my heart, as Cameron implied. I live and breathe it at home, being married to Miles Allen, a climate physicist who might be known to some. I can't escape it, both in my day job, nor indeed over the breakfast table, nor over the dinner table. He really does go on and on about this issue for 28 long years of marriage. Anyway, I... Now, as a consequence of that, but also, obviously, with all the amazing work that goes on, I really do feel it's time that Oxford stepped up once again, like we did with the pandemic, and really take a very significant and major leading role in tackling climate change. Working, of course, in partnership with other great institutions, both within the UK and globally, of course, with many of the partners here, and drawing on what is an incredible strength across all our divisions, depth and real breadth. And you'll be hearing a lot more about that from me in the coming year. But we need to do that in what is clearly a period of great economic and geopolitical instability. Governments across the globe are managing competing demands. I don't need to tell some of you that. And that can prevent them from taking action on climate change. Witness our own government in recent days. However, with every region in the world now experiencing severe disruption caused by climate change, and this only being set to worsen, inaction is not an option. Time is running out, and that's why I feel if we can't step up to solve this, as some of the great trusted institutions of the world, frankly, I don't know who is going to, hence why we will have a focus on this. So this year's uh, theme on climate synergies is very welcome uh, for me, and I know for many of you, and... Um, the speakers who've been invited uh, can consider the double wins where action on climate can also support a growing economy and leading to other societal improvements. We have plenty of examples from the Smith School. The investment in green economy that leads to job creation, the transition to electric vehicles, which reduces inner city pollution. The opportunity to rebuild global alliances through revised supply chains. Furthermore, the debate held at the end of the day will likely touch on opportunities for this action to more fairly distribute wealth globally, but only done if in the right way. So the day's sessions broadly covering geopolitical issues, sustainable law, finance, and the just transition are designed to catalyse ideas and that discussion and that debate by bringing you all together, world-leading researchers with you, and I applaud the vision that Cameron and his team has set to create today's uh, sessions, and I wish you well for the rest of the day. The Smith School is obviously exemplary in this regard. It combines academic excellence across its research groups and has a really deep understanding of real-world impact. The school's groundbreaking research, policy labs, executive education have helped shape policy and public narratives around those key issues on climate, energy, food, water, biodiversity, and the regenerative economy, from solutions to incentivize private investments to the scaling and adoption of solutions to decarbonize sectors in the global economy, to providing governments with information and tools to enable sound decision making for the future. For example, the Smith School has been selected to develop the UK national strategy on heat resilience. <clears throat> Last week, the Smith School's water program held a conference in Oxford, the REACH program that has helped make 10 million people water secure and has a follow-up in place to support up to 100 million have water and poverty security. I was delighted to be there last week to open the meeting. And the sustainable law and food programmes are building momentum too. So let me just finish by on thanking, and on behalf of you all here, and on behalf of everybody in the Collegiate University, 
um, and uh, to, to express my heartfelt thanks and gratitude to uh, this year's Sponsors Forum, Bank of America, Lombard Odia, and Marix. They have enabled us to gather here today. Thank you to all the speakers as well uh, for joining us and sharing your views and expertise. But let me also take this opportunity to thank our leader, Cameron Hepburn, for his outstanding leadership and stewardship of the Smith School as he steps down from his term of office and takes a very deserved and well-earned sabbatical. He has taken the school to yet greater heights and he leaves a terrific legacy upon which our new and incoming director, Professor Meta Morsing, I have no doubt, will build to create yet greater heights. Have a wonderful forum. Thank you again for inviting me to be with you. And I do ask you now, uh, just in case it doesn't happen, to give a round of applause in our gratitude and our heartfelt thanks to Cameron for everything he's done for the Smith School over the past uh, years.